There is a job out there that soldiers have to do that recruiters might not really want you to know about. And even if you go to the Army website, you're not really going to find any details about this job. The job is called the Grapple Hook Man. And so we're clear, when I say man, I mean human because females can also do this job. Now you can't join the army as a grapple hook man, but you can join as a combat engineer. You see, every single job as a soldier, you have subset skills that you need to learn. For example, in an engineer squad, you're going to have combat engineers who are the demo guys. A soldier in the squad might be in charge of mine sweeping. Or if you're doing bridge reconnaissance, you're going to have a soldier who specializes in bridge recon. Now, when it comes to the grapple hook man, unfortunately, it's one of those positions that's one of the lowest people on the totem pole, and that's typically a private, but that doesn't make him any less important. It just means that it's typically done by a private. So what makes this job so dangerous, and why is it the most dangerous job a soldier can do? Quite simply, the job of a grapple hook man is to clear a lane or a footpath for soldiers to charge through obstacles. But let's actually break this down even more. Let's say Intel came in because you're always going to have Intel and they tell you what kind of obstacles are going to be out there. You might have to deal with some sort of wired obstacle in the road. Some obstacles could even be trees in the road. And you see, professional militaries are not dumb. You have your major obstacles, but hidden within the obstacles, there could be landmines. You could even have tripwire out there, and that's why you're using a grappling hook. You're running out there, you're throwing it, and you're pulling it back. You're trying to snag on tripwire. You're trying to snag on landmines so they blow up. And you're only about maybe 50 feet away from that on a good throw. Now look, the grapple hook man, even though he's all the way out there on the front, he will have some support by fire with machine guns, maybe even a sniper element. And that support by fire is essentially trying to get the enemy to shoot at them and pay attention to them while you're pushing towards the enemy and the obstacle. You always have to assume that the enemy is paying attention to their obstacles. You see, usually obstacles are put in areas in the path of least resistance. So they know you're coming and they would love nothing more than to see somebody throwing a grappling hook their way and just taking him out. Now in the last 20 years, you can maybe only count on a hand the amount of times this operation was actually done. But we're seeing in Russia and Ukraine how professional militaries know how to use obstacles. They're trying to get enemies to go around the obstacles and maybe take them out in an ambush. That's why this mission is super crucial and has been trained on for the last 20 years for cases like this.